mean, if you come to Penn State for a day, it's... Uh, I fell in love with the school right when I, when I came to visit. This place is unreal. Happy Valley that everyone as, as a whole student body can, can come together. The student spirit's just amazing. I love the student section. I love how they dance. I love them dressing up. I love the energy they bring. You know, playing in front of uh, your professors, your teachers, your instructors, and, uh, you know, the local community here at State College, it's, it's pretty hard to beat. The Penn State Bubble. When you enter, a feeling of happiness sweeps over you, secluded from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Happy Valley is downright contagious. At the heart of the Happy Valley mentality is the community, the sense of family between the students. One student, in particular, has served as a rallying point for this team. He is known simply as Thor. Thor is in the middle of a six-month battle with spina bifida. During his treatment, there has been one constant that has brought him joy, this team. As the Nittany Lions return to the valley, they bring with them the God of Thunder. This is a story about a game like no other. Power and speed, violence and grace in a home like no other, with the greatest student section in all of college hockey. This is our story. The Penn State Hockey Story. Seventy days without a home game. It was great to be back in Happy Valley. Hello, sunshine. Hello, blue sky. Hello, good times. Hello, sunshine. Twelve more walks to Pagula Ice Arena for a home game. This team seems to cherish each and every one of them. Time together playing a game that they love. Hello warm breeze on my shoulder. Hello morning. Hello sunshine. If you want to break hockey down five on five real simple, let's get to the net and stop them from getting ours. So to do that, you got to be into it, right? So hit someone, go to the net, get punched in the head, get hit. I don't care, but get into it. All right, boys, right from the start. David Glenn, you're starting off. Uh, Dice, you and Barls, Scott for your game. With the students still on break, it was up to the Nittany Lions to put on a show for the locals against Ohio State. But the Buckeyes gave an icy reception to the home team, seizing control of the game in an instant one goal turned to four.
He gets it out in front. They try to wrap it around, and they do. I want them to think that, uh, you know, we're going to play a gritty game. We're going to play to the end. We're going to work hard. We're going to back check. We're going to four check. And uh, we're going to make some good plays. We'll be a fun team to watch. Casey Bailey and Penn State would dig deep to deliver an unforgettable 13 minutes. There's a shot to the left hand point that time. And a shot put on goal. And it's good! Rebound, shot put in behind Fry, and it's a 4 1 game. And there are the big boys getting it done as the first line finally able to light the lamp, the rebound, and maybe some life here for Penn State on their 36th shot of the game. From freshman to senior, the Lions were awake as Hobie Baker Award candidates Taylor Holstrom and Casey Bailey teamed up to cut the lead from three to two. trying to put it on goal. He's taken down, no penalty. And outside to the left wing. Here's Bailey, backhand towards the slot. Gives it back to Bailey. Bailey it takes is. it in. A shot and a goal. It's Bailey again. With your wing to count. It's a shot loose to the front of the net. Shot score on the rebound. Bailey rims it in. Penn State's on the board. On one side, the desire was there. Contagious. And it spread from teammate to teammate. On the other, doubt crept in to the scarlet and gray. Sends it up near side. Gilhoff looking for someone to pass to down the slot. Yep. Little fluky there, but I guess sometimes throw that puck at the net. Goodwin's shot was tipped just enough for it to float into the net, sending Pagula Ice Arena into a frenzy where all believed that this comeback just might happen to the perimeter, then sends it back, it's deflected, and Penn State's made it a one-goal game! Goalie P.J. Musico did his part, and Coach Guy Godowski looked for some last-minute magic. The shot, it's blocked away, saved in. Right in front. Holstrom trying to get it to the near side. They put it through the side again. Got it. Shot, 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 goal. That courage to battle back late in the final minutes, to fight in front of the net, and to deliver in the final seconds sent the game into overtime on the stick of Casey Bailey completing his oh, third right. period hat trick. Steers it back on loose. Here's Bailey, a shot, score! Overtime would test Penn State's fortitude as an uncalled tripping penalty gave Ohio State the win. Out at neutral zone. Taken down. Puck is picked up here by Greco. Greco coming in. Shot and a goal. And Ohio State is won in overtime. He has to be happy with the way his team came back, but he threw his arms in the air before that breakaway even started, and he is not happy right now with the officials. They felt like there was an absolute takedown on the play. Discouraged with their first two periods of the weekend, Penn State looked to wash away the dirt from game one. The three-game losing streak called for a players-only team meeting. 
where the usually soft-spoken Eric Scheid implored his team to grasp today's game as if it were their last. That another bad two-period start against Ohio State could not only ruin a game, but a season. It didn't feel like a normal game in January. The coaches and staff knew its importance, but head coach Guy Godowski also knew that the leadership and direction would come from within. I really feel the locker room is the most important influence. I think that coaches do the best job they can and, and certainly want the best for the individual in the program. But I, I really think it's the, the leadership in the locker room, the culture that you have, which is the biggest peer pressure to doing the things that are eventually going to help you in the future. And it's probably one of the things I'm most proud of right now at, at Penn State Hockey is I really feel that our culture is excellent. I think every, it's cool to be a really good student. It's cool to work extremely hard in the weight room. It, it's cool to rep yourself, represent yourself very well. And, and believe me, the biggest influence of that comes from the locker room. Behind closed doors, the last minute plans were installed. It was up to this team to right the ship. And they called on New York Islander draft pick, Eamon McAdam, to steady the waters between the pipes for game two of the weekend. But Ohio State's resume includes wins against two top 15 teams, as well as Notre Dame and Michigan State. Penn State was in for a fight. Eric Scheid's slick hands set up Curtis Lloyd. The slot near side, dancing, it's Scheid. Scheid rolls into the front of the net, Lloyd scores! Tucks it in with a backhand. One nothing, Penn State with a power play goal. Still winding at 34 seconds to go here on the power play for Penn State walking in Holster. They get it in. McAdam would be the Big Ten's third star of the week for his performance, and Taylor Holstrom's hot streak continued. He set up David Goodwin's eighth goal of the year. Holstrom to the Buckeye line between the circles. The puck goes rolling off his stick. Now centering score! Fry was tumbling out of the net. Goodwin was there, and he jams it in. He's host a full of steam. He's checked off the puck. His Fry dives for it. It is good. Things were going right for the blue and white. So right that a shorthanded situation led to a two-on-none break for Scott Conway and Eric Scheid that ended in an unselfish dish. In a 2-1 game, turned over at the Penn State line, down to the Ohio State line, it's a 2-on-0. Conway in your circle, dishes into the slot, first line, Scheid scores! 3-1 Penn State! Scheid's speech to his team was backed up by his stellar play, and memories of two bad periods faded. Here's a breakaway, here's Conway, gets on the line. Eric Scheid getting a beautiful pass from Conway, and bang, bang on a short-handed goal, Penn State goes up 3-1. A shot at an empty netter. Buck was stolen at center ice, but right on goal, and Eric Scheid will put it in on the empty net. Second goal of the game for Scheid. Welcome back. Returned yesterday after six games with a concussion. Their tenth win of the season felt more like a springboard than vindication. This team doesn't look back because the road ahead is so bright. Let's go fly. Uh, this guy 
I spoke up last night and I said uh, he was a man of his word. Uh, he got two goals tonight. He doesn't wear a letter, but he spoke up at the right time. It wasn't our best tonight, uh, but you know what, I think we came out and responded well. Uh, you know what, I think good teams find a way to win, and after the way we embarrassed ourselves in the first two last night, I think that's a hell of a response. Let's go back at it next weekend. Good. 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 Circle dishes into the slot, far side shine, scores! Holstrom to the buck guy line between the circles. The buck goes rolling off his stick. Now centering score! Fry was tumbling out of the net! We're gonna sign autographs. Well, I'm busy racing. I just called Casey Bailey. I told him, congratulations on his hat dress. All right, well. You gotta get the best looking mug on the team out in front of the fans, you know what I mean? Because then they think everyone on the team's that good looking. And it's just, it's good. It's good. It's time. good for the team. Yeah. Holstrom back for Bailey. Is that score? Casey Bailey, is that score? Ripped it off. From the near circle, this game is tied at four. Oh my goodness, Penn State comes back from down four nothing. It's another hard to win. So let me Hat tricks and comebacks. Skip the chase. I found an imperfection blowing in my window pane upon it. Good luck charms and sold out arenas. College hockey at Penn State. There is a reason they call it Hockey Valley. We are Penn State! We are Penn State! If you've never been, what are you waiting for? Take a trip to the Valley. There's something special going on there. To make it home.